Unreal. 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 Well, how are you getting on? Welcome to Hong Kong. Been here two days. The weather has been just, oh my god, rain, rain, rain. So, no time for anything exciting. Went to the cinema last night, that's how bad it was. But anyway, we look like we have a bit of a dry spell today. So, we're gonna go to the Tian Tan Buddha on Lantau Island. Have to get a train there and then get a cable car. I was there in October. However, I did make a video. Uh, so, gonna go again, because I'm with my brother. There he is, Rob. Woo! and maybe go up to Victoria Peak as well after, which I can actually see from the window. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, let's go. You can literally get escalators up the entire streets here because it's an extremely hilly city. If you think San Francisco is hilly, you should try Hong Kong. Thank God for them, to be honest, except the one bad thing is they only go one way, and it's mostly up, obviously. So we gotta walk down, baby. We are now in Tung Chung. To get here, you take the Tung Chung line from Hong Kong. It only takes about a half an hour. And if you don't have an octopus card, it costs $27 each way. A little bit steep. But then again, we are one of the most expensive cities in the world, so look. We are lucky, not much of a queue, because last year, it was zigzagging the whole way up where we're walking right now. But that is not the case. Monday, 11.40 a.m. Happy days. arrived and the cable car was actually cheaper than it said it was online it was 235 return for a standard cabin you can get a cabin with a crystal floor glass floor whatever for a bit more but personally I think that's a bit gimmicky it's not my waste thing of waste of money as he said and the cable car ride itself is yeah, it's quite scenic but unfortunately a little bit foggy today so what can you do How are you feeling, Rob? Feeling good, feeling excited. I'm ready to see the Buddha. Well, you can already see it. It looks like it's gonna absolutely barrel down rain right now. Hopefully, that's not the case. Please, please Buddha, please big Buddha, prevent the rain. If you wanna go up for a closer look, you've gotta first conquer 260 humid, sweaty steps. There you go, that is the Big Buddha, otherwise known as the Tian Tan Buddha. It is the second biggest seated bronze statue of Buddha in the world, I think. Pretty cool, I guess it's worth a visit if you're, if you're in Hong Kong for a few days or even just in a full day, you can come out here and go back and do other things. If you wanna save yourself money and don't wanna get the cable car because you think it's a little bit expensive, which is fair enough, you can get the bus to Lantau Village, I think, and then walk here. I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on it. Rob, what do you think? Pretty big. So we've been here about a half an hour and we've we've had enough. 
So we're going back to Hong Kong now via the expensive cable car because we bought a return ticket. What do you think of it, Rob? Ah. It's just a big butter, really, isn't it? It's just a big butter, really. That's true. <laughs> I guess they had to turn this massive island into some form of a tourist attraction, so they stuck a butter on the end and they built a cable car system the whole way along and they can charge big bucks for it. And it makes sense, fair play to them. or at least I think we are and we're gonna go try some dim dim some place we were also both just on Hong Kong television talking about the protests etc the woman asked us do we support and I said well look I support democracy <laughs> Trying something in there pineapple buns <laughs> I've marked in a few things there. Mushroom and chicken on steamed rice. Steamed shrimp dumplings, which have a little star beside them, so I guess that means they're popular. Feed me. Certainly not the most appealing looking dish, but... Let's see. Mm. Chicken and food. Beef looks a bit suspect. It's a bit hot. My dumplings, Robbie's, what is it? Some sort of shrimp roll. Oh. Mm. Mm. A very decent lunch, very affordable by Hong Kong standards, 66 Hong Kong dollars. And I'm full, I'm genuinely full. What about you? I'm full also. It's good lunch. <laughs> What's the story? <laughs> How are you, man? Good, my, yeah. my little brother. Hello, man. How are you? It's nice. Ludo, the man. It's quite easy to live here. Everything is everything is well organized. It's easy. You need money, though. It's quite expensive. Check this out, we're going through some sort of a market right now. There's people all over the tram tracks, cars as well. There's actually a taxi in our way right here. Look at him, just pulled in with the hazards on. Please move, we're in a hurry. Unreal. 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 Outrageous. Look at this. Unreal. 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 No shame. That's actually outrageous. Locking the whole part. The party's over. Drive your taxi. Oh my god, look at this. So now we have this guy with all his rubbish, just no common courtesy in the way. Look at that. He's not in a hurry, clearly. Just no Fs given, just in the way. 
Look at him just casually strolling on as if we're not even here. We've come all the way to Quarry Bay at the other end of the island, basically for an Instagram photo. There is a cool spot here, I got it last year. Didn't want to come again, but he did, fair enough. So we'll show you. There you go, a few boys already at it. With the right angle, we can get some cool shots with all the buildings. And that's that. So we just got a quick Uber up to the peak to try and catch a sunrise, which we haven't. But look, peeking through there, sunrise, looks good. Sunset, sorry, sunset. Now you can pay to go up on the viewing tower right there. However, I refuse to do so. He doesn't want to do it. I didn't do the last time either. But if you just walk along where we are right now, you'll get an adequate enough view, good enough view. So let's check it out. There you go, there you have the view from here for free. Not as good as the one up there, but in terms well, of you know, yeah, cost efficiency, I've gone up the escalators. So I, I know the angle, I've seen photos. Not worth the money. This is a free view and I like it. I stand corrected. Keep walking further along the path and you'll get an even better view of that. Definitely do that if you are in Hong Kong. I have to say, we're walking through here in the dark. I can barely see because I got the torch from my phone shining in my face. And it's creepy, creepy as hell. Don't want a trip. But anyway, that is the end of Hong Kong. Flying out to Singapore and then Australia tomorrow. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, comment down below, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram if you want to go a step further at It's the Mur. See you real, real soon. Good, Good luck. luck.